Good morning. We are doing a reconstitution today of Ipamorelin. Ipamorelin. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to do the fancy filtering today. So I have a sterile vial with a big eye I put on there for Ipamorelin. I think I like Ipamorelin, not Ipamorelin. That's probably incorrect, but this is our destination. Okay. Here's our starting place. This is 10 milligrams of Ipamorelin. I'm going to Pop the top on that. It's uh, somewhat satisfying. Okay, we're done with that guy. We're gonna use the full-blown three milliliter syringe. We're gonna open this guy up. <sighs> Jesus. All right, I don't know, I'm weak. I'm still drinking my coffee this morning. I got these key knives at Harbor Freight. I use them all the time at work. I can never find my box cutters, and I'm always needing box cutters for cutting open boxes, unwrapping things, all kinds of stuff. Uh, okay, so we start with the long needle, and we're going to put the long needle on the syringe. I'm going to open up. I'm not going to touch. I have, of course, washed my hands. I should have gloves on, but it's fine. Okay, so here is our long needle. Now the first thing we're going to do is extract some backwater. I'm going to do 3 milliliters per 10 milligrams. And why is that? Because this is a 3 milliliter vial that we're using. And my experience with Sermorellin, which I've been using, is that it does kind of sting a bit. And I asked chat GPT if this one's going to sting, and it said not as much because Sermorellin is more acidic. Uh-huh. I was just testing you. You almost got me there. We're going to wipe the top. Wipe the top of the backwater. We're going to wipe the top of Sermorellin. We're also going to wipe the top of this, and we'll do all of this again, I'm sure. Okay. So, inserting the needle... Not injecting any air. Oh, fought me a little bit. Uh -uh. I don't even need to tip it up that much. This needle is so long. Oh, wait. Looks I do need to tip it up. Gravity helps. So we are going to pull a full three milliliters out here. So then our basic reconstitution is three milliliters to 10 milligrams. And then what that translates to in terms of dosing is then 10% of 10 milligrams will be one milligram. And that would be 30 units because our total is 300 units. So th uh, 30 units would equal one milligram. And I'll probably dose 500 micrograms, which is half of a milligram. So I will do 15 units. And I'll write that on my thing as well. Okay, now here is the deal. The last reconstitution we did, I used the little needles and I didn't have to worry about it. Now this should in theory be super vacuum packed. And if I just put this in, it's gonna blast that water in because it's a big needle, big hole, big syringe. So I'm gonna kind of keep some resistance on the back of this thing. As I go in, I'm gonna aim it down a little bit and it's pulling, it's pulling on my finger right now. I can feel the tension, it's already, see how it's already foaming and I'm, I'm still holding it back and it's pulling it that strong. So it's all fine. The first time I did this with Retitrutide, it, uh, I just, well, I just let it go and it was hilarious. It's like kind of hitting the puck and breaking it up. I can feel little pops and bubbles and it's crazy. But you know, it's a slow descent here is all good it's all good we're almost there everybody just enjoy the ride last a little bit it's still it's a really strong vacuum it's still pulling really hard so there's our reconstitution now we could just leave it at this this could be the reconstitution and given how much work it is to filter stuff a little chunk in there has got to break up. I'm going to give this a few minutes, so I'll probably pause the video and start again. But uh, given how much work it is to filter, 
And given that I like this vendor quite a bit, and all the results are great from all the testing and the community, I feel pretty good. In fact, I'll be honest with you, this Ipermorellin has its vendor test, and its vendor test came back great. And uh, I should wait for the second round of testing, but I'm, I'm okay with the first round of testing. So I'm gonna use this today, I'm gonna try it out. Eh, that little chunk is gone. We'll give that a second there while we put our needles away. Looking very carefully. Okay, so now, actually we're gonna reuse this needle because we're gonna extract the peptide out of there and it's gonna go into a second vial. So now let's prep our destination vial. And the thing we're gonna do to prep this, and let's wipe it again, I know we wiped it, so we're gonna wipe it again. The thing to do with this is the exchange of air and fluid and volume. It's sealed, right? So if we're trying to inject the, the fluid in there, it's gonna fight us. It's really gonna give us a hard time. So we're gonna put a vent filter on there. And the whole deal is we have a filter and we have a small needle. And the short needle works okay because it just needs to poke inside. And I need to get the needle ready. And then do I need to put a glove on for this anyway? Start touching all this crap. I probably should have done this before, but now my paranoia comes up. You can only kill your germs so much. Yeah. So let me just do a little bit of fun stuff. A little rubbing alcohol. Okay. So we've got our needle. And now we're going to attach it to a filter. And the filter is going to let air go out. And this is the tricky part because I have to grab this side of the filter. This is the outside of the filter. And we're trying not to touch the inside of the filter or the outside of the needle. And the filter, the filter is going to go pressure fit into the needle like that. So I just pushed it in. That's it. This one doesn't twist in. Now, and we don't want to touch the needle for multiple reasons. We're going to pop the top on that. Oh, let's see, you got to push it hard so the cap doesn't come off. There, okay. Now, what we're doing, this is our destination vial. Is I'm going to put this filter needle in there. So as I'm injecting fluid in, air can go out through the needle, through the filter. And you don't need to filter air going out, but what we're doing is keeping bacteria from coming back in. So the filters, that's why we don't want to touch the inside part of it, because that's all the clean stuff. The outside I could touch, because any air that's going to get sucked into this vial is going to go through this filter, okay? And it's just going to help with the air exchange. So now, our peptide has been sitting, all the chunks are dissolved. We've got our long needle, and it's the same needle we used. And you say, hey, it's been out and contaminated. Well, we still have to filter this. And the only thing that we wouldn't contaminate with is bacteria, like me breathing on it right now. I could have a mask on, I should have a mask on, right? But we're gonna filter it. And it's not wanting to go through there. Jeez. Bullseye. Okay. And the long needle gets all the way to the bottom. So as I'm extracting this, I'm gonna see if I can do this all on camera. And it's fighting me. I might have to do this twice and like pump some air out or something. I'm trying to get all that fluid. It definitely wants to suck it back, you know? The needle can get all the way in the bottom. I'm not gonna be able to get it all. Oh, 
Let's just give it a second, let it catch up. If I go sideways, does that help? No. I should have pumped some more air in there. Here's what I gotta do. I'm gonna pull some air in here. The same way, the exchange, right? So I'm gonna put some air into this vial. And I forgot to do it. And that's what they did in the peptide test video. And that's what I screwed up in the last video. Well, I'm going to pump the air in. Right? I'm going to do that twice. Yeah, Ian, I know. You fucked up. But it's not the end of the world. Not bend our needle. Come on, baby. Pumping the air in. Right? So then we can pull our fluid out. Now it's coming because I just pressurized the whole thing. See? It's all about the exchange rate. I couldn't get it before. And see that needle gets all the way down in that corner. Every last little drop. Well, just about. Good enough, dude. Good enough. Okay. So now we are done with this needle. Yeah, it's been out in the air. It's been back in the bottles 18 times. We've got our three mil. See, look, I'm overfilled a bit there. We've got a little space. Filter time. This needle has to come off, right? It's ready to come off. We'll prep our filter our this is our second filter so you know this whole process uses resources they're not crazy expensive oh fuck <laughs> it is what it is yo that's why we sterilize everything okay needles off filters on everything's gonna go through this whole deal our hands were sterilized. I touched the end, which I shouldn't have done. And had it been in the package, I wouldn't have. But it is what it is. Nobody's perfect. I challenge you to be so perfect. Right now, we could be contaminating, but whatever. So, here we go. Right? And um, we put a, a short needle on here now. Same thing. I want it pressure fit. I want that thing twisted in there. And we got to get the cap off. And we only need a short needle because we're just putting it in. We're not trying to reach down in there like crazy. So then we've got our vent filter. We've got our peptide filter. And we're just going to try to get it all in there. And it is fighting me, but it's going. You know, there's a resistance as the air is trying to leave through a tiny needle. That's basically what it is. But it's going. When I did this without the filter, it wasn't going. It is fighting me now. Okay, that's it. Done. Cap our needle. We're done with the syringe. We're done with this needle. We're done with the other needle. We're done with this needle. And capping that. With good depth perception, everything is capped. Everything is ready to be thrown away. We have our hypermorellin. 10 milligrams in three milliliters of backwater. And then that's gonna be 15 units for half a milligram. And that's gonna be my dose. So I'm gonna write on here, whenever I find my marker, here it is. Fifteen for 500. I can read that. I can read it. I know what it is. And I'll remember. And I always have this video to come back to. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, 
I'll see you on the next one.